Early six-cylinder models have a longer mass airflow sensor body and utilize a screw-in type electrical connector, Green Arrow. Always inspect and replace any cracked air intake ducts when servicing your mass airflow sensor. Yellow Arrow Disconnect the mass airflow sensor electrical connector by rotating the electrical connector, green arrow, counterclockwise and pulling it straight off. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the mass airflow sensor clamp. Then unclip the two spring clips that hold the mass airflow sensor into the air filter housing lid. Use a flathead screwdriver and lever away from the sensor. Then pull the mass airflow sensor out of the intake air duct and slide it out of the air filter housing. If the O-ring, green arrow, gives you a hard time going in, apply a small amount of dish soap. It will slide right in and the soap will not damage the O-ring. Installation is the reverse of removal. On late six-cylinder models, they have a shorter mass airflow sensor body, green arrow, and utilize a push-in type electrical connector. Always inspect and replace any cracked air intake ducts when servicing your mass airflow sensor. Yellow Arrow Disconnect the mass airflow sensor electrical connector by pressing the wire release tab and pulling it straight off. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the mass airflow sensor clamp, green arrow, then unclip the two spring clips, yellow arrow, that hold the mass airflow sensor into the air filter housing lid. Use a flathead screwdriver and lever away from the sensor. Pull the mass airflow sensor out of the intake duct, then slide it out of the air filter housing. If the O-ring, green arrow, gives you a hard time going in, apply a small amount of dish soap. It will slide right in and the soap will not damage the O-ring. Installation is the reverse of removal. On the 8-cylinder motors, use a flathead screwdriver and unclip all four of the air filter housing retaining clips indicated by the green arrows. Once you release all the clips, unscrew the mass airflow sensor electrical connector, green arrow, by rotating it counterclockwise and pulling it off the sensor. Use a flathead screwdriver and unclip the top spring, green arrow, that holds the mass airflow sensor into the air filter housing lid. Then remove the lower spring in the same fashion. Remove the air filter housing lid from the mass air flow sensor. Lift it up and pull them apart. Loosen the air flow meter clamp, green arrow, then disconnect the air flow meter from the duct and remove it from the engine. On my vehicle, there's a zip tie holding the duct on. This is not correct and could cause an unmetered air leak. I replace the zip tie with a new hose clamp. Once the mass airflow meter is removed, transfer the seal, green arrow, over to the new sensor. If the O-ring, green arrow, gives you a hard time going in, apply a small amount of dish soap. It will slide right in and the soap will not damage the O-ring. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.